Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today it's another fix it video, another video where I've bought something faulty off eBay and I'm doing my best to fix these things. So sometimes it works at the end and sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes I can be lucky and sometimes I can be unlucky but that's the gamble with it. Now like always I am not a professional at these things although with this one here I've now taken them apart a few times so I am going to be getting slightly better at this but when it comes to soldering and stuff I'm a complete amateur learning. Right, okay, so in here, if I am correct, there should be two Nintendo 2DSs. Now, I've done these quite a few times, and apologies if it's getting boring, because I keep choosing these. It's just that I really like working on them. And also, I'm going to be doing a giveaway, a 250,000 subscriber giveaway. So, uh, in that, there's hopefully going to be a Switch, and also, I might do, uh, you know, a Nintendo 2DS, or possibly two Nintendo 2DSs. So, we'll have to see what's wrong with this, and see where whether it's repairable or not. Now, the reason I got this, is I wasn't actively trying to get more Nintendo 2DSs, it's just that there's a seller that I sometimes buy from on eBay and I bought uh, two Nintendo Switches off them previously and they really were untested. So, one of them was a very easy fix. So, I, you know, if it's a good person to buy off, then I would like to buy more from that person rather than somebody that spent hours trying to fix it and then just offloading it on eBay. With this company, I really do believe that they do just get them in and uh, get rid of them as quick as possible. So, here we have them here. Let's just see whether there's anything inside, see if there's any SD cards or anything like that. Right, nothing in there, and no game. Oh, yes, there's an SD card here. That's always a bonus. Excellent, I wonder if there's any games on it. And uh, no game in it, but there is the stylus, which is always a little bit handy to have. Right, okay, so, uh, yeah. That one's absolutely filthy, but that one looks okay, and that one just looks like it's the screen, just looks like fingerprints everywhere. So let me show you the listing and what I paid for this. So I couldn't pass this one up because it was a bargain in my opinion. I got them both for £30, and it says two, time, two times Nintendo 2DS, black blue handheld system spares or repair. So that was £30, that was including the postage, so uh, free postage. So that works out as £15 each, which is actually very good. And it says here, it's a nice little write-up on it, and it says, You are bidding on two times Nintendo 2DS, black, blue, blah, blah, blah. This item has been listed for parts as it has been power tested only. During the power test, the item would only power on to a red light on the power light. Also, the amber light came on when the power adapter was inserted. The red light would flash along with a flashing red light above the controls. Not sure what that means. The 2DS would power up with a light in the background, however the screens were smashed and functions, connections and cartridge are untested. No further tests are carried out. So one of these has a smashed screen, which is fair enough because you know I've already replaced one of them before, it's not that big a deal. Now this one's going to be more interesting. It says, uh, item 2, this would power up to the menu dashboard, however the cursor kept moving when powering up and switching to different apps without pressing a button. No, uh, the top joystick did not seem to respond, however the lower arrow keys, that must be the uh, D-pad, uh, did once the console had stopped moving on its own. No further tests have been carried out and all internal parts are unchecked. Battery life untested, conditions uh, okay, as there's much smart scuffs through general use. Right, okay, so uh, that's the one I'm going to be interested in. So one of them has a smash screen, fair enough, I have to buy one of them. Can't remember what I paid before, I know you can definitely get them for under... 20 UK pound but I think I got one from China for I'm sure I got it for like 13 or 14 pound before but I think that's because it had like a some sort of 10 or 20 percent discount I can't exactly remember it was on the video where I had the white Nintendo 2DS but the one I'm interested in is the one that's moving off its own accord because I'm wondering whether it's got a bit of water damage on it maybe some you know somebody might have been drinking a can of coke or a you know, whatever fizzy drink or something, and it might have spilt on it, in which case, and it might be repairable. So I'm gonna turn both of them on and see what happens. So let me get set up. All right, so first things, let's just plug it in and see if it, uh, if it charges up. Okay, so we've got the amber light there, so that's good. Let's try this one here. Amber light again, so that's good. So let's turn this one on to begin with. Okay, and it's going crazy. Yeah, you can see that. 
Okay, it's the D-pad, I think. Maybe not. Seems to have calmed down now. But yet the uh, let me know it there. The analog stick's not working on that one. Right, let's uh, get the stylus out. Right, screen's okay. So if we have a smash screen, maybe we can put the smash screen into that one. And then even if I paid thirty pound for one working one, it's not too bad. Right, okay. Just saying that there's no SD card, let's just put a game cartridge in. Yeah, it's recognising that. Right, okay, so, uh, yeah, obviously analog stick's not working, so I have to look into that, and then I'll have a look and see what else is going on uh, with this one once we take it apart. So let's turn this one off. Right, so that's that one. I think I'll be working on that one to begin with. Let's just see what's happening with this one here. Oh, this one's not let me turn it on. Let's just make sure. Okay, so I can't turn this one on. Not sure if that's because it's a smash screen, I still would have thought it should have tried to turn itself on. No, that's doing nothing. Right, okay, let's, uh, do you know what, I'm just going to take them both apart and uh, see, what's, uh, see what's happening with them. Right, okay, so let me get some bits together. Right, okay, so with dismantling them, I'm just going to fast forward through the uh, the process. I'm going to be taking them both apart and just trying to fix them, you know, both at the same time. See if I can maybe swap a few parts around if I'm not getting anywhere. So next time you see this now, it will all be taken apart. Right, okay, so this must have been taken apart before because if you have a look, the ribbon cable's broken for the camera. Oh look, hold on, the ribbon cable for the analog sticks out as well. Let's let's take this one out because that can't be repaired because it's actually the ribbon cable itself that snaps. I mean there's a possibility if you were amazingly good at soldering that you could uh, you know strip that back and then uh, I've been told you can go on all the wires, but to me that looks impossible because there's just so many, if you look in the middle there, there's like uh, you know every one of these pins here goes onto here so I think you need to be an absolute genius to be able to resolder that and it's never going to be a great connection in my opinion right okay let's uh, let's just check everything else all the other ribbon cables seem to be okay so it's just this back bit so let's pop the let's pop the analog stick back in if possible and then put the back from the other 2DS onto it and see what happens. There might be loads of faults on this one. If which case, then it might be best just to keep it as spares. Right, let's see if it still goes crazy. Got to thin this one. I think this one's completely flat. Maybe that's the reason it wasn't turning on before. Yeah, I think the battery's just completely flat. So uh, maybe this one over here, mind you, they did say there was a smash screen, so they must have charged it up for a little while. Right, okay, well, there doesn't seem to be enough power to do anything on that one at the moment. So let's uh, take that battery out. Could be a faulty battery, or it just might need to be charged up for a while. I'm just going to see if this one's going to go crazy now. Yeah, still going crazy. Yep, 
yeah, analog stick's not working either. Right, okay, let's uh, look into this one further. Well, it hasn't had bad water damage because that indicator there is still white and red. I mean, it all looks okay. There's not any water damage there. Looks absolutely fine. What I don't remember seeing when I took apart the, apart the other one was uh, all this white stuff around the chips, but it looks like it's been placed, and it's also on the other, uh, the other Nintendo 2DS as well. So uh, I don't remember seeing it when I was working on the other ones, but maybe I just didn't pay attention to it. I mean, that one looks okay. see anything that's glaringly obvious with this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take apart this one over here the one that's been charging up for a few minutes and then I'm going to because uh, this oh it's turning on now let's just see what's happening with here oh there you go cracked screen well I'll tell you what let's put the motherboard from here into this one here or, or let's put the screen into this one and uh, let's see if we can get one working one and that might give me a better idea about what's wrong with this one here then Use the suspected 40 analog stick on this one here and see uh, see if it's working all right. Right, okay, so I've got this one back together, so I'm going to just mess around with it for a bit and see uh, see if it's all working. Right, okay, so this one actually appears to be okay. It needs to do a system update and it can't do the system update because the battery's too low. So I need to uh, let it charge up for a bit before I can update it. But it all appears to be, you know, working fine. Touch screen seems to be okay and everything. Buttons appear to be working, the ones I've used so far anyway. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this charge up and I'm going to take a look at the other one now. It's going to be harder for me really to try and fix the other one because the working screen is now on this one but even if I just keep the other one for spares then it's still going to be worth it because remember I paid £30 so I've got a working one now for £30 which is uh, which is pretty good remember there's an SD card there as well doesn't appear to be any games on that SD card but uh, you never know I might be able to go into the eShop and download some right okay so let me have another look at this one now while this one's charging up I'm going to do with this one because I need a good screen to test on. Obviously, I can buy a screen, but there's no point in me buying a screen if the motherboard's unfixable. So, the uh, 2DS that I did recently, which had the faulty card reader, one that I got working again by bending the pins, I'm going to use the screen from that one and put this motherboard in it. So, I'm going to keep this one as it is now because it all appears to be good. And now I'm going to start working on that one because with that other one, it's got a dodgy card reader anyway. So, I would rather the card reader from here than the card reader that's with the bent pins even though it works fine okay so this is one that i fixed uh, the other day and this is one with the dodgy card reader which is now working but obviously it's not perfect because a couple of the pins are broken in there even though they are still making a contact so i know that the screen and everything else is working fine on this it's only the card reader so i'm going to put this one into here and then see what happens and then i might be able to pinpoint what the fault is Right, again, I'm not putting it back together properly. I haven't done all the screws up. I just want to see what's wrong with this. Right, 
Okay, so I've just temporarily put it back together. Let's see what happens with it now. Okay, look at that. So this is the bad motherboard. Hold on, let me just plug the thing in. This is the bad motherboard with the good screen. And uh, it's not going crazy anymore. So maybe there was something wrong with that. Hold on. It's a strange one now because this is the analog stick that came with the broken screen. So the analog stick on this one here that wasn't working is the one from the one that wasn't working and yet we know that that's working fine because I've just played Mario Kart on it. So that's, uh, that's a bit of a strange one isn't it? Okay, uh, just trying to think how that would happen. So basically, this is the, the faulty motherboard, and when we turned it on before, remember it was a faulty motherboard, but it had a good screen, and when we turned it on, it all went crazy. And also, we know that the uh, camera thing's broken at the back as well. But uh, I put the different camera one on it, and it still went crazy. And from memory, without watching the video back, I'm sure I swapped the analog sticks over. No, I didn't swap the analog sticks over, but then what I did is, I put the one with the smash screen, the motherboard from the smash screen, with the analog stick, and uh, you know, with the suspect analog stick, and it was all working fine. So that led me to believe that it wasn't the analog stick, that it was actually the, the motherboard. But now, that's working absolutely fine. Right, okay, I'm going to do a few tests on this one and see what's happening. It might be just a case of buying a new screen, because obviously I have to get a new screen here, and seeing if I can get a new uh, rear camera here, you know, with the uh, with the ribbon cable. I don't know if you can get them, I don't know if they're cheap or expensive, but uh, yeah, it might, be, it might be worth fixing this one up as long as that rear camera isn't too expensive. So I'm going to connect this one up to the internet just to see if there's any games that can be downloaded on it. So this has got enough power in it just to do the update. So I'm just going to update the system. Update for ages. I'm going to turn off the camera and then I'm just going to continue doing my testing. I'm just going to make sure the game works, uh, check the eShop and stuff. And then, uh, then I'll have a better idea of what I need to do to, to replace uh, the broken parts. Right, okay, so it's done this update and good news. I've gone onto the Nintendo eShop and there is a game that I can actually download. So I'm gonna have to pop in a memory card into this uh, little SD card. So, uh, right, I'm gonna use the SD card on this one here because on this one here, there isn't any games on it anyway. I was saying that, yeah, there isn't, is there? Right, let me plug it into this one here. It wasn't showing up any games there, but maybe it will show up games here. Can't remember which one I took the SD card out of. Oh, okay, so what have we got here? Super Mario Brothers 2. Right, okay. Well, that's good because that means it's on there, but that is the game that was available for me to download anyway. So uh, that didn't show up when I did it on that, I'm pretty sure. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go back onto this one now and see if there's any games. I need to update this one and see if there's any games for me to download on this one here because on this one, that was the game that was allowing me to uh, to uh, download, so there's no point in me downloading it if it's already on there. Right, okay, I'm going to charge up this one because I can't update this one. can't get onto the eShop until I've charged this up. So I'm going to leave that charge up. Let's turn this one off for the time being. And then when this is charged up, I can make the decision on exactly what I'm going to do. Right, so I've got an older Wii 2 gigabyte SD card. I haven't got any of this size SD card around, so uh, I'm just going to put this in here. Two gigabytes will only store a couple of games if they're, you know, things like Mario Kart 7. But I just want to do it just to see if there is any games on this system. 
So now I'm just going to update it and then I'm going to go onto the e-store and see what's there. Right, okay, so it's uh, done the update, so let's have a look now, see if there's any games. Remember I've put the Wii SD card in here now. So this is a useful tip because then even if you get a second hand one you'll still be able to download it if it came with an original game. Right so we're going to scroll all the way over to the very left until you see settings and other. And then go down to where it says re-downloadable software. Hopefully there'll be something there. Oh there's two titles. Okay. Mario Kart 7, there we go, fantastic. Excellent. So I'm going to re download that, not bothered about that game there, apparently. I think that's just a, a demo version. Re download. Okay, so it says purchase titles can be re downloaded at no extra cost. Right, so I've got 15,000 blocks on the card and I need 5,000 for this, so uh, that's not too bad. So you'll be able to get two to three game, uh, games on here. There we go, let that download and then we'll test it. Right, okay, this has taken a serious amount of time to download, so while it's doing that, I've just been checking online to work out what to do with this other one, you know, with the 40 ribbon cable. Now, basically, I can get these for just uh, around about £3 from China, or I think it was £5 from a UK seller, so that's not too bad. But annoyingly, the screens at this moment in time are quite expensive. So, I bought one of these screens for the white Nintendo 2DS that I had uh, you know, about what, however long ago it was, about three, three, four weeks ago, maybe five weeks ago, and uh, it cost £13 something. I've just double checked, I think it was up for like £17, and I got like whatever it was, a certain percentage off it. So I got it for £13.50 delivered from China. And I've just had a look, and even from China, they're all coming up at £22 or £23. So it's not worth it. Well, I mean, it is kind of worth it to have a, a working one, but remember, the game one on this, although it worked, is not perfect. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to keep this as a perfect one, and this will have Mario Kart 7. I'm going to keep this one, I just need to put it back together, as a perfect one, and this will have the Mario Brothers game. And then, I'm going to keep this as spares, or wait until the, the screen price drops, or if I get more of these in the future, then I can mix and match stuff. So uh, I don't see the point of paying like 22 or 23 pounds for a screen from China, plus call that another three pounds, so you're looking at 20, 25 pounds, add that on to the price that I paid, which was 15 pounds, and already now you're up to 40 pounds, which is starting to get too expensive. So I think in this instance, I'm happy with what I've got here because I've got you know Mario Kart 7 on one of them, well hopefully, if it fully downloads, and then I've got the Mario Brothers on this one here. So I think that would be a better option, and then I'll keep an eye on it, and if the price does drop on the screens back to like 16, 17 pound, like they used to be only you know a month or two ago, then I might consider getting one for this one with the 40 card reader here. Or what I can do is, let's say if I buy another one that has a 40 motherboard, but a good card reader, then I can unsolder this one, put on the good card reader onto here, and then I can put this in the screen with the one with the 40 motherboard. So it's always good to have spares around the place. Now, other good news is, I don't know if you guys remember, but I did a video a while back on trying to fix Nintendo 2DS's, the XL version. And I think I bought, I think if it was five of them from one seller, and every single one of them had a 40 top screen. So really, it was a kind of bit of a scam because they were the only parts at the time that you couldn't get. Well, you could if you went to, you know, like AliExpress to get one but uh, they weren't widely available, and also they're really hard to replace. Now, when I was looking up the 2DS screens now, they have come up, 
and now they do sell them in the UK. They're still expensive, but I've bought two of them and they worked out just under £33 each. So this £65.90 was for two of them. So now they're going to be arriving in the next few days and hopefully I might be able to fix up a couple of the Nintendo 2DSs that I bought before. The, the XL versions, you know, the ones with the clamshell that open up the XL, the, the ones with the bigger screen, the newer ones. So I'm really looking forward to doing that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to leave that do its thing and I'm going to put back together this one properly because it all appears to be working fine. And then I'm going to do a final test on them playing the games and hopefully it will all be working. So I'm going to come back to this now when this is both back together. Okay, at long last is complete. It took absolutely ages. So now we should have Mario Kart 7 on this. Right, so that's loading up there. I've put this one back together now as well, so this should have the uh, Super Mario Brothers on it. Right, I'll show you a quick bit of gameplay on this and a bit of gameplay on that and then we're done. Right, okay, so you can see that that's working now. And this one here. Okay, so there you go, that's uh, not bad now. So we paid £30 for both of them. One of them had a smash screen, so there was nothing that could be done about that. And the other one was uh, playing up with the analog stick, which was a bit, of a bit of a strange one. But anyway, all I did was take the screen off the one that was playing up and I put it into the one with the smash screen. And now that's working absolutely fine. And then the one with the, the motherboard that was playing up, I actually took that out and I put it into my, uh, uh, you know, the other one that had the faulty game card slot. And then that all now appears to be absolutely fine. So the motherboard isn't playing up anymore. So I'm not 100% sure what was wrong there. I'd need to, when I edit the video, I'll probably work it out. It's probably because the analog stick was disconnected. But yet then... I'm pretty sure I put it back in, but maybe I didn't put it back in properly because 
This in here now is the one with the faulty analog stick and it all appears to be fine or I can't remember, it might be this one here. I've lost touch on what's what. So basically that is it. I think this has been a bit of a success because to begin with I only had one working DS and two faulty ones. Now I've got two working DSs so basically £30 has given me another DS but it's also one with a game like Mario Kart 7 or Super Mario Brothers. So basically I think it is worth it for £30 and also now I have additional spares as well. In other words I've got all this as spares to fix up other ones. I think it's a great little tip that you can go into the eShop and download the games that were on here originally which is great because for a lot of people they would think that those games are lost but they're not they're still there you just have to look for them so basically that's it for this video I'm really happy with it if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for more trying to fix and also how-to videos as well take care bye now